I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is March 30th, 2020, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set the emissivity on a Fluke 59 Max infrared laser thermometer. Now this video is not my normal 3D printing kind of video. I'm making this video because I made a video a while ago comparing a Fluke 59 infrared laser thermometer to a cheap laser thermometer so folks could see which one they might want to use for homeschooling. Now with the recent coronavirus, this video is being watched more. And someone asked a question. Let me scroll down here. Uh, Mr. Z, Z Jed, hi, we have three new Fluke 59 Max IR meters. It's being used for screening corona patients for high body temperatures, For but apparently all three of them are showing wrong temperatures simultaneously. So if you can kindly help us set the settings correctly, it will be hugely helpful. Thanks in advance. Um, so, that's why I'm making this video. First of all, I do not claim this will work well trying to check folks' temperature from afar. And I don't think the fluke folks will either. And so out in the field, I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to show you how to set the emissivity. And if you don't know what that is, for the purpose of this video, you don't need to know. You can just think of it as a volume adjustment for now. Um, now, before we go into it and show you real quick, here are some other pages. So here's the Amazon page for this. And of course, they're probably all out of stock. Uh, and also here is the product guide so on how to do the settings. So you can look on here on how to do it. Um, and I'll put the links in the show notes, but let me go show you how to do it. Okay. Again, and I probably can't emphasize this enough. I, I don't know how well this is going to work. I just want to show you how to set the emissivity and hopefully people out there can figure it out in the field. So here I can push the button to start it up. And what you have to do, here's a select button, the up and down and the set button. So what you need to do is you have to hold this button down, trigger it, and while you hold it down, push the select button. And then you can let go, and then you can keep pushing the select button, and it will start to cycle through all the different features. There's a light on, so I can choose... Oh, there's a laser on. What we want to go is keep going through here until you hit EMS, emissivity. Right now I have mine set to 0.72 and that seems to work okay. Well, now I gotta restart it, I'm going too slow. So here you can push the up and down button to change that. And there might be different conditions, different weather. I don't know how this is going to affect it, but I'll put mine at 0.72. Hit the trigger button again and now it's set at 0.72. Now I did go around my house and it was kind of funny, I went to my wife, handed her this, and told her to shoot me. And she did shoot my forehead. I told her to shoot my forehead. And she did, and it kind of got a decent number. So I got a, dec I, I got a decent number on her forehead, on mine, on my mother-in-law's. Uh, but then my son was downstairs studying, and he had a little space heater. And he'd been staring at it like this for hours. And his was a little hot, because he was right in front of a heater the whole time. So uh, take with a grain of salt, and here I'll let... I'll give it to my wife and let her shoot my forehead. So I don't know what procedure you guys can come up with, but if she shoots my head, let's see how well it does. Anyway, so there's all that fun.